Hey guys, good afternoon. It's about 2.45, I woke up around two. I was going to film this morning when I got off just to talk about my night and stuff, but honestly, I was just so tired. I just didn't even have the energy to do it. My night was okay, it was a little hectic at first because we have a lot of new staff where we work and or at the hospital that I work at and because we have a lot of new staff on night shift especially, a lot of times I go in and I have the most seniority and if we don't have a charge nurse, usually the charge nurse is the one who has the most seniority. So I had been looking at the schedule yesterday and I told on the desk, I was like, I bet you anything, I'm gonna go in and they're gonna tell me, Melissa, guess what? You're gonna be in charge tonight and I will die. I've never been in charge. I'm not, I'm fine with being a leader. I'm just not, I've never been a charge nurse at anywhere before and our hospital in particular is so, busy and crazy I don't know that I'd want to be a charge nurse I have a lot of experience but you know there's always someone that has more experience than you then that you feel more comfortable with being in charge and that was me I really did not want to be in charge and so I told him I was like I I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna be able to do this they're not gonna put me in charge sure enough I go in and <coughs> sorry I have stuff in my throat I go in and I was supposed to be in charge luckily one of my friends, they called her, and I just love this girl that I work with. Love, love, love her. She was like, I couldn't let them do that to you. I just couldn't. Like, I know you would freak out and would not, that's not what you'd want. You, you know, made it very clear before you wouldn't want to be in charge and stuff like that. And so, um, I was like, oh my God, I love you. Thank goodness. <laughs> so she had come in for me, not for me, but came in to be charged and so I, I was just in triage which I'm not a huge fan of triage if I wanted to be an ER nurse I would be an ER nurse I like labor and delivery I like to labor patients I like to deliver patients c-sections you know I don't really like to see them for in triage for colds and back pain and you know they can't pee properly and stuff like that like that's not my that's not what I signed up for so I really don't like being in triage however last night I was all for it because I did not want to be in charge so it was a busy night triage was kind of crazy but the night went by really fast up until the wee hours of the morning I had a really good night I was well hydrated you know I got to eat lunch no problem so I really couldn't complain you know it wasn't too too bad I did end up getting off this morning just at a regular time I got home around 7:40. Um, got home and the girls had just woken up so I talked with them for a minute talked with them the desk and then I was out by like 8 woke up around 11 had to go to the bathroom pregnant girl problems and then w went back to sleep and woke up again around 2 and I would just like to say shout out to all you daddies out there happy Father's Day especially to my handy mini who you guys know you see it all the time he is honestly hands down the best dad I could ever ask for for the girls he uh, treats us all like queens i mean he does but he's out there right now on father i'm gonna cry <laughs> the guy just i don't give him enough credit i don't he is the best man ever like not just on father's day but every day he worries about us 24 7 he just constantly is just you know like when i was sleeping yesterday he cooked us enchiladas and rice for dinner and then he made sure my lunch was packed last night so i had plenty of food he filled in my water you know just like little things like that like he worries about us so so much and now he's outside power spraying <laughs> the deck and stuff so that we can enjoy it for summer trying to get all the bugs and whatnot off of it and you know he spent his father's day like he the girls are at my mom's house so that i could sleep because when they're here i've told you guys it's really hard for me to sleep because i want to be out playing with them and they want to be inside playing with me so it's it's really difficult when they're here but when i work weekends i just make it work well he took him to my mom's house so that they could actually play and have fun my nephew's over there and that way they could just have fun you know and so he went to go buy plants and he planted more plants in the backyard i'll show you guys in a minute and he's been trying to fix up the backyard and you know make it look beautiful for us and he just he's such an amazing person I know he never watches my vlogs, but happy Father's Day, my handy bitty. We love you. So anyway, <laughs> pregnant girl problems times two. Freaking cry over everything. Movies, people, conversation. So I think, I don't know if we're going to go 
to dinner. I like I really wish I didn't have to sleep today so we could have had like a barbecue or something here. We really need to go grocery shopping and I would love to go grocery shopping without the girls, but I miss them. I want to go get them now. So we may just have to take them. I don't know how that's gonna go though. We'll have to see. So there's a, there's a answer here before. Mommy wants bent. It's fine. So the rest got some of these plume bangos. Just plant up front. And the other flowers are back in blue. But the rest of them are pretty lackluster. <laughs> Likely. Likely. Oh, yeah. Not likely. Hmm. Not likely. Hey, bless, bless you. If I cuddle a gorilla, I won't end up a wall. What's this one, Mommy? I can't see it. Spell it. It's W O U L D. I mean. What? Would. I would end up yeah. much thinner. Down and up and down. See, up. Thinner. Thinner. Uh huh. If I. So the girls are having some pasta and broccoli for dinner. And we're gonna cut some apples with one of these nifty apple cutters. I think we need a new one of these. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy did it! You want green apple, right? I want green apple. Okay, wait. They said, Mommy. Yeah? What did I say? You're welcome. The thing is look, stuck to the stuck to the So Daddy's outside doing something else with the lawn, I don't even know. The girls are coloring. <laughs> and I am about to edit the vlog for tonight so that my handyman and I can spend a little time together when they go to bed. It is almost 7 o'clock. They'll probably be in bed within the hour. And um, the only him and I can. We didn't eat dinner with them. They had a little bit of pasta with broccoli. It was like mostly broccoli. I'm surprised both of them ate it. And then I cut up that fruit for them. They had that with some milk. And they took baths. They're all clean in new jammies and and Maddie has school tomorrow so we are going to be calling in an early night and my Hindu Benny and I are probably going to try and watch a movie as long as I can last because I'm already feeling like I could fall asleep so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. In case anyone was ever curious about these the sturdiness of these chairs from Ikea this is just a silhouette cutting uh, cut out of Elsa and oh, hey it. excuse me Oh, and Anna's on the back. But um, this thing holds me. Now that I can't really get up and down off the floor, this holds me. This is frozen? Yeah, that's frozen. Okay, back up. Mommy's talking about it. Back up. Um, this holds me. I can physically sit in it and be perfectly fine, and I don't feel like it's going to break or anything. So, in case you're wondering for your bigger kids, <laughs> it's fine for me. Y'all going to say goodnight? Goodnight to watch me tomorrow. Goodnight to you tomorrow. Goodnight tomorrow.